Hey guys, it's Wade with the Streaming Center. Today I'm going to go over how to utilize um, OBS live broadcast software with your 24 hour TV station. Um, OBS is a good solution for those who uh, may not be able to um, either afford the Wirecast uh, option or can't get it right now. OBS is a good solution. Um, OBS is a good solution because it's open source, it's free. So um, it is a, a, a good solution. Some things you do lose, um, you just kind of lose some of the some features, the pro features that Wirecast have, but if it's a great option if you're looking to just get um, some type of software on your computer to broadcast live with your 24 hour TV station. Um, it can receive inputs from like your webcam, from uh, you know any type of um, USB connections you have, or if you have like any type of you know encoders or anything like that um such as like black magic or stuff like that so it'll work with all the major major options out there to connect um you know a, a video to your computer and it's a free option so because of that again we get a lot of requests in reference to how can we configure you know how do you configure obs with um the television station so we're going to go over today in this tutorial um this is a typical layout. Sometimes your 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 uh, OBS panel may look a little bit different. It may uh, look like you know may look like that. Uh, we have it in studio mode, so we have it on two panels. All right, but today I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and get the information plugged into your OBS system to broadcast live. So let's go and get into it. Okay, so let's go back to your login page. Right, so this is where you would log in. Where we're going to focus on right now is simply this information right here, our live stream connection. Now, this is important because, um, you know, the when you get this set up, you'll be able to broadcast live uh, people because people always ask, can we broadcast live from our computer with a camera in real time on our television station, our 24 hour television station? Most people know that you can upload videos to it and they'll play it live but they always ask, can we broadcast live? So this is, um, you can, and this is where the information is. You can actually use this a lot of different places. You can use it in like, we're using it right now with OBS. Um, we have tutorial videos showing you how to do it um, with Wirecast, um, how to do it with um, cell phone applications that you can broadcast live with. So this information right here is very, very important when it comes to live broadcasting. Anytime you have anything that can broadcast live, whether it be an app on your phone, whether it be a software on your computer, um, or anything you come across, even like different um, types of equipment, different boxes that can broadcast live. Um, this is where you would get that information that those those different platform softwares or um, encoders um, would need to connect to your broad, to your TV channel to broadcast live from where you are. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right here into the live stream connection, look at these four things and get it plugged into our OBS system so we can Get our live signal going. All right, so let's go here and go back to OBS. On the bottom right hand side of your OBS, and I, I can't remember which, okay, we're using the version 24. So if you're using version 24 around that version, it may look similar to this. If you're using an older version, it may look a little bit different, but you probably can kind of figure out what we're doing here um, to make it work with yours. So if you go to settings, click on settings, you wanna go to your broadcast option. On this particular, um, version it says stream all right so when you go to stream it has this information there now we've already put the information in he in here but i'm gonna go ahead and clear it out so i can show you how to set it up correctly all right so what you want to do is you want to go to custom once you go to custom um you want to click this box down here because typically this is off where it says you use authentication click that box it'll give you this little information um and give you this place to put this information i'm about to show you where to put it all right first you want to do is go up to server all right, when you get right here, go to your live stream connection where it says server URL and you wanna copy that, all right? So you wanna copy everything from the RTMP all the way down to the last one, all right? Take it slow, if you go too fast, it will cut you off and you have to start over as far as copying it. All right, copy that, paste that right here where it says server, all right? Next thing you wanna do is your stream key. Stream key is this, it is right here, stream key. All right, copy your stream key. All right, put that right there. And if you wanna make sure you got it copyright or paste it right, click show, it'll show you what it is. All right, next you wanna do is go to your username. So we're gonna go back to our broadcast platform again for our 24 hour TV station. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this right here and, and go ahead and do copy the username and paste that into here, all right? Now we want to do the last thing, which is get the password. So you want to copy the password 
back in your broadcast panel under your live stream connection and you want to go ahead and paste that there. Now again, to make sure you paste it correctly, just go ahead and click show, make sure it's, you know, the last few digits are the same as what you have here. And once you do that, you should be good to go. Click apply. But before we do that, let me do this real quick. Before we click apply, I want you to, I want to show you one more thing to make sure you're getting a good quality that's going out to your TV station. So go over to output. You want to make sure your output is um, a bit rate of a max of about 4,000. Uh, just to be safe, maybe do 3,900. But um, you want to make sure your, your bit rate around 4,000. Let's take this all the way down. And the reason why you want to do that is not because of the server, but more or less for um, those who are broadcasting live, for example, because um, you know with the TV channel, it broadcasts live on multiple platforms at the same time. So it's broadcasting live on Facebook Live. Um, is a live 24 hour signal. It's broadcasting live on YouTube as a 24 hour signal um, on Periscope or, or Twitter, I should say, or whatever you call it, Twitter or Periscope. Um, it's broadcasting there with a 24 seven live signal. Um, Twitch um, on your website, you know, um, Twitch is a you know, different platform it's broadcasting on. And if you have it on other platforms, um, you know, it's broadcasting live there. Now the limitation is set up because of the, some of the platforms you're broadcasting on have a bit rate limit on your live signal coming into them. If you're over that bit rate limit, then they'll cut off your signal and it won't go through. So that's why we always say to try to keep your, um, your, your bit rate, even when you're broadcasting live, keep that bit rate at about 3,900, 3, 4,000 max. Um, to be safe, do about 3,900. I say that because um, it also includes the um, audio bit rate in that total uh, bit rate. So let's do just through 3,900. If you do 3,900, if you set your auto audio bit rate at 96, that'll put you at about 3,996 total on your bit rate. So you'll be well under um, what you need. Check on some of these other options. If you have a computer that has a video card in it, um, you can use the hardware encoder. Um, by default, it's going to say software encoder. So it's completely up to you. Um, as far as what you want to use i will say this if you're using like a um a basic computer just kind of play with these settings because sometimes it can cause problems if your computer isn't strong enough have enough memory things of that nature um but yeah go ahead and check on enable advanced encoder settings and for streaming service bitrate limits and then where it says encoder preset you want to go for quality quality is what i what i recommend but if you're again computer is starting to have you know problems where it's buffering the video or skipping the video or your stream then change this encoder preset to maybe balance to make sure it kind of gives you the best of both. All right. Um, once you do those two things, all right, once you go into stream, set up your um, server, stream key, username, password, and go into output, make sure your output is good. Then go ahead and click apply. All right. Once you click apply, you're ready to broadcast live. Now, we um, already have in here set up uh a how yeah uh, what does it call it the intro our streaming center intro all right now um what obs you can load in different things as far as um you know how to, you know videos and camera shots and you know different um screen captures and stuff like that so you can lay it all out we're not going to go over that in this tutorial we're just kind of showing you how to utilize uh, OBS with the 24 hour TV station. Okay. So now we have that set up. We want to start the stream. So just go right over here, click start streaming. And to verify you are streaming, it'll say stop streaming. It'll show you down here some information about your computer load, your bit rate, all that cool stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our browser and we have it connected right here on um, the YouTube, our YouTube channel. And as you can see, um, this is actually playing out, playing out live. So let me reload that for you so you can see it um, as a live signal. And that's basically playing from here. So this is our live signal. Cool thing I like about the 24 hour TV channel is it does not interrupt your signal. So um, if I stop this right now, it'll go right back to our pre-recorded content. Um, and then, you know, when I go back live, it'll go ahead and interrupt our live. Um, it'll interrupt our pre-recorded content with a live signal. So I'll give you an example right now. I'm going to stop this signal and watch what happens. So we're going to stop the stream. Let's go back and see how when I stop this live signal, it's going to go right back into our pre-recorded content, which is really, really cool. So when you want to, um, you know, do a live broadcast, you can go ahead and do it without interrupting your, you know, without cutting off your viewers. They'll go from this pre-recorded content and I'm going to bring our live signal back in. Um, right to your live signal. 
So now that's the cool thing about the 24 hour TV stations that people like. But like I said, but OBS is a good solution for those who may be um, on a tight budget. Um, those who may have, you know, um, other limitations. OBS is a good solution as a free open source for um, doing live broadcasting. OK, guys. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to submit a ticket to our support team. Uh, stuff like that if you um, you know want more information about because we do offer computers um, if you are having finding you're having problems with your computer as far as trying to broadcast live we do have those solutions available too you can always speak with someone in our sales team in reference to that by giving us a call at 888-801-1563 or just browsing our website all right guys i am wade um you know hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i will see you guys again on the next tutorial <laughs>